everybody, it's Free from Skeletron again. Welcome back to my channel. Valchagan video, Jace. Welcome to video 10, where we are going to be working on the tower. So we're gonna be putting the tower together with uh, vertical units. Um, we're gonna be doing the gable triangle. We're gonna be painting some trim that we're gonna need later to do the bay windows and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm gonna show you what happens when things don't always line up the way you want them to and how to fix it. So hopefully you'll find that helpful. Hope you enjoy. All right, so we've taken the tape off the roof, as you can see, um, and it's staying up there nice and straight like we expect it to. So now we're gonna do one um, part where we're gonna mark uh, for some future trim. So what they have you do, let's see here across here. So I have this divider, right? So what they have you do is they have you put the divider like so, and you're gonna have it on the gable floor, okay? And you take a yardstick. I don't have a yardstick, but I do have a quilting ruler, and they want you to put it so that it lines up with the peak of the roof right there, and then kind of scoot your, your divider over here. And then we're gonna do a pencil line here for future trim placement, okay? So I just made sure it's nice and light, so that way, depending on you know where stuff goes, um, I can erase it, right, if something goes there. So, I sneak across again. All right, so the next step in the instructions is building the tower here. Okay, so to do that, we have three pieces. We have the tower, um, what the heck they're called? Tower back left, <clears throat> tower back center, tower back right, okay? So they're gonna go like this. They're gonna go on the roof here and line up with this wall here. I don't know if I'll be able to hold all these right, but I'll try. And then this is gonna go here, right? And then this piece is gonna go here, okay? So what we're gonna do is just like with the other ones and they, they have a nice diagram to show you. We're gonna line it up like so. And then we're gonna tape this so that it, it's one unit, okay? And then, and I'm gonna do that off camera just because I really don't have a place to do it here. Um, and then we're gonna do the same thing with what will become the top of the bay windows. So we've got two of the side top base windows, windows, pieces, <laughs> and one of the bay window front top. So again, it's gonna be here, the shorter ones on either side, making sure that uh, the siding's all facing the right way. Okay, so I'll go do that and I will come right back to you. So now I have these three pieces here and they're taped together. And so it's very important that we dry fit this stuff because it's going to be another one of the things kind of like the walls where you have to proceed through the different steps before the glue is dry because you may have to make small adjustments um, because we're going to be doing this tower roof okay so it's going to line up right down here with this corner and along this wall it's going to come up and over and then this piece here needs to align with um, this front here, okay? So it's on mine, it's not sitting exactly perfectly, probably due to the roof. I mean, I could have the roof just slightly off, right? But we're gonna get as close as we can. Um, the nice thing is if you have any gapping here, your shingles will cover it in the back. So you don't have to worry about that. But we want this as flat as we can here, this flat here, and then this lined up with this corner, okay? And then once we do these, then before it dries, we're gonna to have to come in, we're gonna to have to do our vertical supports here. Okay, again, these are gonna line up with the inside. And then we're gonna to have to grab our walls for the top and put those on there. So I've got those, I've got my corner spacers because we're gonna use those to make sure we've got, you know, um, the correct distance from that to the top and all that. So it's gonna have to be kind of one continuous thing, okay? So what I'll do is first, I'm gonna put glue in between the bevels here so when these go, they go together. Then I'm gonna do these bottom surfaces here, here and here. Um, I don't need to do this part yet, but I am gonna do glue along here as well, okay? So I'm gonna get these in, I'm gonna tape them in. I'm gonna do my best to stay out of your view if I do apologies because I kind of don't know where the camera angle is because I can't see it it's over there okay 
<clears throat> and once I do that, I'm going to do this all in fast forward. Then I'm going to put these spacers in, one on this side, one on that side, both again aligned to the inside. Well, that's completely backwards, that one, but you know, it's going to be lined up to the inside wall. Um, then I'm going to grab my, I'll show you real quick. I have my three pieces here taped together. I'm going to make sure I've got the slats going down like they should. And that's going to come up and around here. And then what they have you do is they have you take a yardstick, which again, I don't have a yardstick, but I do have a quilting ruler. You're going to hold it up along the edge of where that vertical piece is so that you can make sure that this piece is aligning where you want as well. Okay. And then once I get all that in place on this here, I'm just going to put glue on the inside bevels here, on the outside edges, and on the tops of those vertical supports. And I'll put that in there like so and tape it down. Then I'll get the vertical corners in there and tape them in there to make sure I've got my spacing correct. Um, and then that'll be it until that whole assembly dries, okay? I'm also gonna prep some pieces of tape first as well. I'm gonna have pieces of tape on the outside, but I'm gonna have it going from the inside, securing one here, two here, one here, one here. Um, this will only be here kind of temporarily because once I go to put that top on it, I'm going to have to move that piece. Okay. we have this top one on we have our bay verticals we've got the corner verticals here which are keeping this at the correct spacing up here um, and they do have um, like a list of the most important ways that it should fit <laughs> right so number one is that um, the bay is straight which it is straight um, and that the top bay walls touch the bay verticals so these need to touch these now, if you'll notice, you can see there's just a little bit of extra material here, and it's kind of the same on this side, too. I'm going to have to tape that a little bit better, but um, those parts are kind of secondary to it fitting here, because if it doesn't fit there, um, then your windows aren't going to fit, right? So we have a, a ceiling piece. Let me go grab it. Okay, we have a piece that's going to go up here and it's going to sit in here and it's going to form the top of our tower so we can kind of adjust i mean i can come in and i can i can sand this down um, so that it's level or you know however i want to do it um, i can maybe grab a plane and plane it but um, 
Anyways, we can adjust this or we can maybe add a little bit in here so that everything is nice and level. But for now, the important part is that it's touching this and this and this. Because again, I'm guessing my roof may be just slightly at a weird angle. Um, I will go off camera, see if I can maybe move this piece down a little bit to get it level with this. But um, for now, that is that. So once that um, is ready, we will come back and do the next step. Um, in the interim, I do have my dividers here and my attic dividers. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do templates for these. I may, since we put them in at such a late stage, we may just cover them with their wallpapers and then install them, which I think is probably gonna be the easiest way to do it. So we can probably skip out on that part. But you know, if you, if you want to do templates, you can just do one of this and mark it like one and put a one here and then match it up to the other side and write a two on the face of it and a two on the face of the other side so that you know the front and the back so you don't have to do two templates, but it's not quite as simple as just flipping it. I, I don't know why it should be, but it's not. And then I will see you guys here um, as soon as that gets a little more dry and I read uh, what we're doing next. Okay, so before um, we have to wait for that to dry, we actually have another part we can do, which is gonna be the gable up here. Okay, so first thing they're gonna have us do is they're gonna have us take the gable and we're gonna glue it right here. And it's gonna go you know, level with the edges here, level with the front. Um, and then we have this knee wall in back. Remember, we didn't put any glue on it. So they're saying to go ahead and adjust it and then glue and tape this in place as well. So once we've got our um, gable in place here, then we can take the porch spacer and kind of um, tape it down in the back of it like so, so that it, it dries nice and straight. Okay, so we're gonna do that part first and that way this can dry and then we can put our gable roof on here in a minute as well. The part where they had us not put glue on this so that when we needed to, we can adjust it, which is cool and all, is gonna present a bit of a problem now because the majority of this is glued down very securely. This isn't, so how are you gonna get glue under there? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit on paper and have it on a toothpick and kind of gently move this up and just try to get some glue under there, just any glue under there. Um, now having put my gable on here and lined it up, I can see that it lines up just fine with, with this knee wall. So there's no adjusting. I don't have to cut anything, which I'll have, that would have been a, a joy to try to do, but I'm not gonna have to really do anything to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. Um, in future, I mean, it would have been, I think a lot nicer if that's the direction it was gonna go to maybe how this is a separate part, right? Because that just kind of, I get that you want it for strength and, and continuity and stuff, but it also kind of presents its own you know, challenges to things. So, all right, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue and my toothpick and I'm just gonna kind of try to squish some glue under there. <laughs> that's, that's the technical term right there, squishing some glue. Just kind of lift it up. You wanna be able to lift it up, but I mean, you don't want to compromise the integrity of the stuff back here that you did because that's holding your whole roof on. So you really don't want to screw that one up. So I just kind of kind of spread it under there as best I can. That's as good as we're going to get right there. Okay, wipe the glue off. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape this down. So it's nice and flat and straight against the side. I should only really need one piece for that she says, while clearly needing more than one piece for that. All right. So that way we can also put some glue on the face of it for the, um, the gable roof. All right, so there's that extra glue off first. Okay, so now we will apply glue to the bottom of the gable roof. We will open the glue. How many times am I gonna do that? Seriously. All right. Glue going on here. You only want a good amount. Don't go crazy, but you know, we want it to hold it nice and secure. Just a little bit more. Okay. 
And then while I'm spreading that out, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit right here on the end of this um, knee wall piece. Narwhal piece, whatever. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to sit this here. Make sure that this is pressed down so I can get my extra glue and squishing out off of the front. Wow, and then I'm going to do a better job of that, I think, at some point. There we go. <laughs> oh, so another reason to use eggshell or semi-gloss on the front so that when the glue you have to move around turns shiny to it, it's not as noticeable. All right. So I pay special attention to these corners here, making sure that they're exactly where they're supposed to be. Get this lined up so it's square. And then just kind of, just like when we did the knee wall, it's just kind of there to, to keep this drawing square, right? So, uh, get some more tape. And then I'll kind of secure this to this. From the front here, around onto that. sort of thing from this angle, from around, just kind of holding it square, up and down, okay? All right, so now we're going to let this stuff dry. Um, we'll come back and probably do the um, gable roof, I think, is what's next. All right, so we are waiting for our gable triangle to dry before we put the gable roof on. Um, so we can untape it basically because there's a ton of tape all over it and we need that space. So um, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to work ahead. So after that part, what you're going to start doing is you're going to start putting the corners in here for real. Okay. So one of the things you do along with that is you put in a bunch of what are called window blocks, which I have here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the fact that we have some of them that are taller. They're really going to need to be painted. Um, you know, I'm not... 100% sure. I don't think those need to be um, stained. And I may end up, the part that we stain on the inside, I may end up putting wallpaper on there anyway, but um, we're just going to leave them blank. Uh, that way, if it turns out it would look better stained, I can stain them once they're in the house. It is a lot harder, but I can, I can still do it uh, without making too much of a mess. But um, otherwise, if I'm going to wallpaper it, I'd rather just have the bare wall. But they will be seen from the outside, okay? So we're gonna go kind of floor by floor with these as to which ones you're gonna need because it is a little confusing-ish, but so for our first floor windows, so we got the bay window down here, okay? And it's got the two end ones, it's got the two corner ones. So each of those will be getting on the sides that touch the vertical supports, they'll be getting one of these, okay? So these are the window blocks. These are an eighth of an inch thick, two and five sixteenths inches long. Okay, so upper and lower, and then it will get one of the three and five sixteenths inch ones in the center. Okay, so this is gonna kind of bridge the gap. It's gonna hold your, your corner pieces in there as well and help support your windows. I've also brought in the window things just to show you that this is gonna fit under here. It's not gonna be seen. You know, so we don't need to bother with painting these, but we do want to kind of get these together maybe in a little pile. Okay, so here's bottom floor one. Maybe I'll set them over here. I don't know if you can see in there. There we go. So bottom floor one here. And then we'll do that again. One, two, three, four. One in the center, one in the center. Okay, so we're going to set these aside. This is going to be for our ground floor, basically. We don't have to do anything to these. Okay, and we'll even put them down at the bottom so it's like bottom floor. Okay, so then on your next floor up, it's going to be slightly different. Okay, so at the top, you're going to have one of these and one of these and one of these. 
but then you're going to have different ones at the bottom. You're going to use these ones here, which are one and one eighth by three and five sixteenths in the center. And this, there were two of these in the kit. Okay. And this one, there were four of them. So these are the one and one eighth and two and five sixteenths. Okay. So now these pieces here, once we put, let's take our stickies off. Once we put the window frames on, like so, you will see some of the bottom of it. So this I'm gonna want purple. And like I said, I'm gonna leave this, this part here. So if I do wanna stain it, um, I can, otherwise I can put wallpaper on it, okay? So these we can leave like so. We're gonna make two sets of these, right? So there's your second one. That'll be, we'll go ahead and sit these guys with it for a minute. Same thing these at the top, that in the center, that in the center, and these on the bottom, okay? This way there's no confusion when you go to put stuff in. All right, and then for the top tower window, it's going to be the same sort of thing, okay? Again, you're going to have these two on the sides, that one in the center, And then you have this taller, this is two and one eighths and three and five sixteenths. So this taller one here, and then these, oops, these window blocks here, which are two and one eighth by two and five sixteenths, okay? So an easy way to figure out which is which is you hold this up to it, because this is two and five sixteenths, okay? Two and five eighths is gonna be narrower. So we know it's gonna go this way because it's gonna need to match with this. So when we go put it in, we're also gonna make sure it aligns with this, okay? So we've got that here. We can use this to line this one up, same thing. All right, and so these will need to be painted purple also, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda move some of those. So here's my tower set up here, right? So we're gonna have to paint these purple. There's another step they have you do, which is the step back. So on our steps that go out of the front of the house, um, this is going to go behind them to give them kind of some more space out. So we want this to match the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the top and all four sides of this in the um, black that we used. And then, wait, there's more. Okay, so these little pieces right here are top stair um, blocks, okay? So as you can see, there's like this little lip here. This is probably what goes on your very top part of the stairs and then your stairs um, are gonna go down from it. So these need to be stained. So we'll put this in the thing for stuff to stain. Because as I said, as you go through this, you're gonna be able to really identify some of these parts, where they go, what colors they should be, all that good stuff, okay? Just kind of sit that on there. Okay, and then after we take care of doing the windows part, that's gonna help us make the windows, but a few steps down from here, we're gonna have the eaves, okay? So the eaves are gonna extend your roof line out over the front of the house. This is probably done in part to keep it so that you don't misalign the roof, right? It's a safety sort of mechanism. So these are gonna align in the very front along the roof edge. As such, the bottom portion of these is going to hang over, so it's going to be visible. So just like on the main roof pieces where we painted that bottom strip of them black, we're going to do the same with this, okay? So this is your bottom eave here. And if we look at the picture, okay, you can see that this piece here is going to fit below the tower like so with the bevel here, okay? And it shows the bevel going down. So we're gonna to wanna to paint the underside and we're gonna go ahead and do the edges of it, okay? On this piece. Same with this. This piece here is gonna align probably like so. Um, best way is to go out to the house and look and see how it's gonna align and then decide, okay, you're gonna to wanna to do the underside of it because it's gonna have shingles on it. But you're gonna to wanna to do the underside of it um, and then the sides that will show but you don't want to get the sides you're going to glue with stuff, okay? And then the right eave is nice and easy. It just kind of goes boop on here. So we'll do this part. Since it's going to fit like this, um, you know, we can maybe even leave a little bit of that unpainted. It doesn't really matter. 
Um, so we're going to do this underside here and this one here. This end is going to attach to the gable roof, um, so it does not need to be painted. And of course, this will be covered with shingles, so that doesn't need to be painted either. Okay. And then it has big, you know, don't forget this part because your trim's not going to fit. So we want our trim to fit, obviously. So we're going to make sure to do these parts. And then last but not least, we have our tower floor slash ceiling. Okay, so this, the tower roof, as you can see, is going to slot into these, right? And then, as we know, this part here is going to fit into the bay window that we did, and it's going to glue along here. But this is a part you're going to be able to see from inside the house. So we're going to want to go ahead and paint this white like we do the ceiling. And since we're finally coming along a trim piece that we know how it's going to look, because we can not only see it here, but we can grab the picture, which I wish was a bit larger, and we can sit it here. So we're going to go ahead and paint this edge here and this one, um, and we'll go ahead and paint under here as well. We're going to paint that black because that's going to be visible um, from outside of the house. Okay. So, and I do want all of my trim pieces, like the ones on here, I do want these to be black. So this is going to be black, these will be black, you know, this, all this decorative stuff will be black. Um, so as we come across those bits, we can take care of those. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start with the lightest color first, and I'm going to do my um, ceiling on here first. <laughs> I'm not going to paint my floor because I'm going to put flooring on it. But I'm going to go ahead and paint my ceiling part first. Then I will move over to the um, purple, which is going to be this group, this group, and this group just on one side because these sides are going to be gluing and attaching to things. So we don't need it on those. But on one face of it, it'll be purple. And then on these, I'll do the black. Hopefully by then this will have dried enough where I can go ahead and do um, that on here as well. And since we know, of course, you know, the, the tower roofs and stuff, we can just kind of go to maybe a quarter inch here. And then if it turns out that we missed a little and you can see this color once we attach it, then we can touch it up because we have some spots out there that are going to need to be done already as well. For example, right here, this particular ceiling up here, that is painted the regular ceiling color because they didn't tell us, hey, mark this off. And, and I don't know if we would have been able to do it very well anyway. So I'm going to have to go in and take the main house color and paint under here and under this as well. So, but we'll do that later. So for now, I'm going to put on fast forward. Um, I will stain these blocks, you know, obviously separately, oops, from everything else. And I will go ahead and paint some of these and I will um, come back to you off fast forward when it's done. two coats of paint. Um, I will give the ceiling another coat of paint here in a minute, but I went ahead and took these out to the um, house so I can see exactly how they fit on there. So they're going to go on the edge of the roof. Um, this one here beveled down. So I'm going to do this side, this end, and this end. And this one here, you want that little tiny triangle. See where it's kind of cut off a little triangle? Have that facing up. 
So it's going to be this surface here and I mean, excuse me, this surface here and this surface here. Okay, because it's going to be the stuff that's showing under. So scratch it for this one. It's going to be this bottom surface and these two. So, all right, we'll get to that. So I've got two coats on these. I've got two coats on this top part. I'm gonna let this dry real good. Then I will flip it over and get the, um, you know, trim on the sides and, and on the top as well. But I wanna let this dry pretty good so I can flip it over and not damage what I've already done here. See you guys in a sec. Okay, so we've got a couple other things we can do while we wait for um, this piece to dry enough for us to knock out the other side is we're gonna go ahead and stain these. So I've got my stain here, mix it up real good. And then instead of using a paintbrush um, on these, I'm just gonna use uh, the rag itself, which works for me just fine. Actually gets it nice and even. So I just take a little bit of it here and I cover the whole surface of this, All right? So I'm just gonna rub it on. So I'll do these two real quick. And then we've got the um, gable roof to go ahead and tape together too while we're at it. We do that. stained that was pretty easy because um, they're just small pieces so we're gonna go ahead and do our gable roof here and here okay and so of course we got our bevels and our bevels which as we know are gonna go together like so so this is the part we're gonna tape together and again we had our lines from the um, shingles to help us so we know the little shorty lines are going to be here and this doesn't look terribly straight. The nice thing about the shingles is since you're going to line the bottom ones up usually, you get them straight by lining them up here. So it'll it'll straighten out any unstraightness with these lines. We'll just do a couple pieces on this. we'll do three. Let's do overkill, shall we? Why not? Small one here. Okay, so when we go put this out on there, we've already got this taped, just like the other ones. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off, make sure that any stain that got on here, I've wiped up 
Um, the reason I used the separate one to wipe these off is because I had also been using that same rag to clean off my um, paint stirrers. So I don't want to mess that up. All right, so from here again, we're going to do all this trim. We're going to go a little bit to the inside, but first, we are going to go ahead and do our second coat on the ceiling. All right, so now we are ready to do this. So we're gonna go to about, uh, I'd say here, um, with this on the underside just so that we know it's going to disguise any underside bits because we know our walls are about uh, three-eighths of an inch thick, quarter inch, somewhere in there. So, And again, if we have to touch it up, we have to touch it up, but hopefully this will keep us from having to do that. And then when I did the top part, I did a little bit of this edge so that I can paint it down to here without having to worry about getting it on my glass or picking it up or doing anything because I know we've got the white roof over here, I mean the white ceiling over here. You don't want to mess up. So this should be good. Um, I'm, I didn't paint this little part here because I'm pretty sure that attaches to the roof. Um, so we want to leave that paint free. If it turns out that it needed to be painted, I can always go back and do it. Um, and so we're going to let this dry really good. Um, yeah, I tried not to move it at all because I don't want to take a chance of, of getting anything where I don't want it on the other side. So yeah, we should be good there. So I will see you guys out front to do the gable roof. All right, so we are back out here at the house. I've taken the tape off of everything because it's set up enough that I could do that. And it looks like a piece of cat fur got on there. All right, so now we have our gable roof and it's taped together. So now just like um, the other pieces, we're gonna have some overhang where it's gonna be, you know, the underside of the roof needs to show and we're gonna have some part that's gonna be sealing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on here I'm going to dry fit it and make sure it's fitting along the back of this. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a line where the overhang is. Here, here, under here, and under here. Okay, it gives me a general idea. So now I can take this back there and I can go ahead and paint this part black. I'm going to paint this part the ceiling color um, and then we'll bring it back out here and, and put it down. Okay. So I am hand holding this for the moment um, so we can take a look at this top roof. I mean, the good news with this kit is it does build in a little bit of tolerance. So if you're just, you know, a 32nd of an inch off, you're not going to ruin the whole thing. But this is a bit much for the tolerance to deal with. Okay, so if you can see, see how that is lining up, or rather how that's not lining up. So I'm going to need to do something about this or my roof isn't going to go on right. So what I need to do is I need to figure out, do I need to... Okay, I just knocked that out. We'll just leave that on the floor then. Um, <laughs> that was one of these corner supports here because I took the tape off. Um, so now, do I need to add a little bit to this to bring this up to this level? Or do I need to make this go down um, from here? Well, the way you find that out is with this, a level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this front part here and I'm going to put the level on there. I'm going to go, okay, this right here is pretty darn level. Okay, so this, I want this to be level, obviously. So this front part is good. So now I'm gonna go over here and go, okay, what about this part and this part? 
And again, let's see if you can see that, that's pretty centered, that's pretty level. Okay, what about this part to this part? Okay, now we're starting to get out of plumb, okay? And then when we do this one and this one, we are really not straight. Okay, so it's clear that this part here is gonna have to be taken down a little bit to get it nice and level. So I'm gonna bring the camera back over for a wider view and I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So in order to get this piece right here level with its friends, we're gonna to have to do something to shave this down. Now you could sand it. You will be here for quite a while sanding that because we've got a good you know, 16th of an inch-ish, um, almost an eighth of an inch of material here that needs to go down. So I'm gonna use one of these. We're gonna try this one. So this is called a block plane. So a plane is designed to go along a flat surface and kind of skim across it and take material off. Okay, so let me see if you can see. This is a little bit closer. Okay, so see there's a blade there. It's a very sharp blade. So as this gets pushed across the surface, it's gonna take a layer of material with it. So what you do is you hold this plane at the angle you want to end up at, basically, and you can start shaving off material. So we can get it to where it's a little bit more level, um, and then we will uh, maybe sand it down the rest of the way, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to be very, very careful on the first pass of it, and I'm just going to go like so, okay? Ideally, you would be above it, okay? But I'm probably on this front leading edge here because this is the one that needs to be up. So I'm only taking this about halfway across this piece. But I have to be very careful because of course I've got, you know, this stuff is glued on here. So I don't want to break it off that way. So as I've taken a decent amount of material off, um, just vacuum that up later, here I'm going to measure it again to see if it's level. So I'm going to go from here to here, and it's getting there, it's still a bit high. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep going, because it also sticks up a little bit back here. So basically I want to even this out with this. is within tolerance for me as far as um, putting that top on there. Now we'll sit on there nice and flat. Okay, so that's how you deal with it if you get it slightly off. And now I'm just going to have to get all the sawdust from having done that off of the house. Fun. All right, so I will join you back after I have painted the gable roof and then we will go on to getting the window blocks and things that we had painted in here. Um, what I did is I put everybody's pieces at their window. So the ones that go here are right next to it. The ones that go here, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, make it a little easier for us. So see you back in a bit. All right, so that was it for the tower and um, all that kind of stuff. So we will be moving on in our next episode to um, building the structures to put our window frames into for the, all the bay windows. So that should be fun. That's going to uh, be very interesting. <laughs> so see you in that one. Bien Bye.